In this video we're going to be creating a list view using Ajax. We're going to create a normal page view. We're going to add filters, activate Ajax and see how it would affect the filtering, the pager and the view in general. So here we have a Drupal instance installed. So let's go under structure and under views and let's go ahead and create a new view. We're going to call it Ajax overview. Not very smart, but it's okay. And we're going to be showing content of all types. And we're going to create a page with a pager. Let's put the pager to four items. That's perfect. And let's save and edit. And now, as we see here, we have basically some pages. And obviously, there is another page. And if we simply save this and if we view the page it looks like this there are some articles and pages and as we click here the page loads new and let's go ahead and additionally add a filter let's first switch that to fields that's a bit nicer and let's go ahead and add a filter which is going to be a combined filter that's perfect and we're going to say that we want to search for contains any word we're going to expose the filter and we're going to simply select here the title and click apply that's perfect and we're going to add another filter for the content type that's okay we're going to also expose the filter so that the visitors could filter also for content type and if we save now and if we refresh our page here we see that now we have some articles and we could search now for let's say wary and we're finding something and let's go ahead and remove wary and let's search just for the basic pages there we go there is one basic page and and let's now search for the articles and there are more articles and another thing that is nice to have is basically adding a reset button we could just do it by here under advanced in the view and under settings we could simply say include reset button and hit apply and as we save now basically the page looks like this and there is a reset button so that the filtering could be resetted and the reset button appears only when there is some filtering applied and in order to activate the ajax we would have to go to our view and under advanced we could simply under use ajax change it to use ajax it's that simple and we could simply say save and basically that's it if we now refresh the page we see that as we are searching for something let's say ego and if we search you see there was a small tober here appearing and basically it loaded the results without reloading the page if we reset actually the reset redirects the page to the same one 
but if we are searching for example for the article and if we click apply we're seeing just the articles and if we search for content type we're seeing just the content types and if we remove it and we see here that also the pager works without reloading the page as you click here these are changing without reloading the general page so that's a simple example of how to activate ajax for your simple page view if you like this video please check the links in the description like subscribe ask if you have any questions related to this topic and thanks for watching